Hey children, here are seven signs you've got rare genetic mutations. Number seven, mosquitoes don't bite you. You're at a summer barbecue, the sun's shining, friends are out, and the mosquitoes are having a buffet. Everyone's slapping themselves silly, doing the slap dance, itching like crazy, except for you. You're just chilling, wondering why your friends are suddenly swatting air like they've lost their minds. Well, it turns out you've got a secret weapon, your DNA. The ABCC11 gene isn't just there to mess with your sweat glands. It's the reason you're basically invisible to mosquitoes. Your body doesn't release the usual chemical signals that scream, dinner time, to these bloodsuckers. It's like having a built-in mosquito force field. No bug spray, no fancy gadgets. Just your genes quietly saying, not today. Number six, you don't smell bad. You know how some people can work out, walk through the heat, or dance at a party, and somehow they just don't smell. No deodorant, no sweat patches, just fresh like a mountain breeze. Well, they've got a special twist in their genes, the ABCC11 mutation. Here's how it works. Normally, apocrine glands in our skin produce a protein-rich sweat that bacteria love to munch on. That's where body odor comes from, basically bacteria's stink party. But in people with this mutation, these glands barely produce any of that sweat. The result? No sweat for the bacteria. No bacteria. No stink. Well, actually, the secret is in your dry, crumbly earwax. You read that right. The ABCC11 mutation not only makes you smell free, but also gives you dry earwax. So if you're sporting that, congratulations. You're in the no odor club. Of course, don't expect superpowers. It's not going to stop you from getting sweaty palms or a shiny forehead. But it does mean your armpits aren't throwing a stink parade every time you step outside. Number five, you have the nose of a bloodhound. You ever walk into a room and just know someone microwaved fish two hours ago? Meanwhile, everyone else is like, I don't smell anything. Congratulations, you might have one of the most overpowered sniffers in the game. We're talking about hyperosmia. It's not just good smelling. It's someone changed shampoo and I can smell their trauma level. Your nose isn't a scent detector. It's a full-blown forensic lab. You don't just smell dinner. You detect the seasoning. This is because of mutations in your OR2, J3, or related olfactory receptor genes. Your nose has more active sensors than most people, and your brain is just better at processing all that smell traffic. And, yeah, it's not all roses. You walk past a trash bin and get hit with a wave of memories you didn't ask for. Public transport, torture, and perfume counters might as well be tear gas. Number four, you don't need much sleep. We all have the one friend who barely sleeps, wakes up before the sun, and somehow manages to be annoyingly productive. Or maybe you are that friend. Turns out it might not just be caffeine or stress keeping you up. It could be your genes. The DEC2 mutation, the tiny genetic twist that makes your brain think, sleep? Who needs it? People with this mutation naturally require way less sleep, sometimes just four to six hours a night while the rest of us stumble around like sleep-deprived zombies. It's 2 a.m., and while everyone else is snoring away, you're wide awake, reorganizing your closet, binge-watching documentaries, or contemplating the meaning of life. Then, at 6 a.m., you're fresh as a daisy, already halfway through your to-do list, while your friends are still drooling into their pillows. But don't get too cocky. This isn't a superpower to push. Chronic sleep deprivation still messes with people's health, even if your genes let you get away with it for a while. It's like being blessed with a high-speed car, but still needing to refuel eventually. Number three, you have unbreakable bones. Ever trip over a crack in the sidewalk and think, I'm about to break my wrist, but somehow you walk away without a scratch? Maybe you've got a secret. It's called the LRP5 mutation, and it makes your bones so dense and strong, they're basically reinforced concrete. Doctors who've seen LRP5 mutants call their bones denser than most people's hopes and dreams. Medical scans look like you've got steel rods inside. Even dentists get nervous drilling your teeth. And the best part? This isn't something you can train for. It's written in your DNA. Number two, you can't feel pain. You're at a winter festival. The air is freezing. People are bundled up in scarves and gloves, shivering like penguins. And there you are, just chilling like it's a mild spring afternoon. You're munching on ice cream, wearing a t-shirt, and everyone's staring at you. The thing is, you don't just resist the cold. You don't feel pain. Like, at all. We're talking about CIPA, 
or congenital insensitivity to pain with anhydrosis. This ultra-rare mutation messes with the nerve signals that tell your body, hey, this hurts, and hey, you're overheating. Think about how this would work in real life. You stub your toe on the coffee table, no flinch. Cut your finger while cooking, nothing. Fall off your skateboard, just brush it off and keep going. Sounds like a superpower, right? But here's the catch. Pain exists for a reason. It's your body's warning system. Without it, injuries can go unnoticed and become dangerous. And as if that wasn't enough, the same gene makes it hard to sweat. That means you could overheat easily, especially during a workout or on a scorching day. Imagine running a marathon and your body just forgetting to turn on the AC. So, while CIPA sounds cool, literally, it's a double-edged sword. No pain, no sweat, but a constant risk of not knowing when your body's in trouble. Number one, the golden blood. You walk into a blood donation center thinking you're just doing your bit, but the staff suddenly gets wide-eyed, whispers start flying, and they're treating you like you're carrying the philosopher's stone. Turns out, you've got R.H. Knoll blood, the rarest blood type on Earth. It's the rarest genetic mutation in the world, so it's called the golden blood. Why? Because it's like the universal donor of the blood world. People with R.H. Knoll blood can donate to anyone with rare RA negative blood types, making it life-saving for those with blood compatibility issues. But here's the catch. RH Null folks can only receive RH Null blood in return. It's like having a platinum credit card for others, but when you need help, only one tiny VIP club can assist you. A club so exclusive, there are believed to be only around 50 known people worldwide with this blood type. So, next time you see a blood drive poster, imagine the hidden legends like you, who are quietly saving lives with every drop. If you want to watch more video like this, subscribe to my channel. See you.